Hi, welcome to the second video on A to A or Agent to A protocol from Google. In the previous video, we saw a high level overview of what is A to A when compared to MCP. So, in this video, we're going to see or we're going to show or demonstrate the first working example of an A to A based client and agent. So, here is the first working demo of A to A protocol from Google itself, but it took some time to make it work. Like I said in my previous videos, I love Docker. So, all my working examples are all containerized. The advantage is you just have to clone my repo and run it. You don't need to install anything else other than Docker. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I am Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. So the demo that came yesterday from Google, I containerized to ensure that it runs in a Docker environment. So that took some time. This is a very small demo, but it showcases A2A and also the agent card. So let's look at the key principles. So in, in key principles, it's saying it's simple, enterprise ready, async first, modality agnostic and opaque execution. So agents do not have to share thoughts, plans or tools. But this was the case even with tools using MCP because the remote tools, like I said in our yesterday's video also, when you connect a tool via SSC protocol, when you connect a tool via SSC transport, tool stays remote and private. Tool stays opaque. There is a detailed discussion on A2A and MCP. We saw this. So there are three actors in A2A protocol, user, that is the end user, human or another service that is using the agentic system to accomplish tasks. Then it has a client, this entity or the service agent application that is requesting an action from an opaque agent on behalf of the user. Remember, so this client is actually your local agent, which will Connect to remote agents, local agent. Okay, and then we have the remote agent. And these two are connected using A to A protocol. The transport, it is HTTP transport between the client and the remote agent. If there is capability, it may leverage SSE and we, we have covered extensively, it is server send events. This is like web sockets, but in one direction. So it also supports streaming updates through SSE. It also has push notifications, authentication and authorization agent card. So remote agents that support A to A are required to publish an agent card. Okay, so we will see how this, this looks today in JSON format, describing the agent's capabilities slash skills and the authentication mechanism. So client will use the agent card information to identify the best agent that can perform the task. So these terminologies we need to remember as we proceed. So we recommend agent host their agent card in this agent's URL slash dot well hyphen known agent dot json. We will see that. Okay, agent to agent communication. So I want to keep the video small, practical. We will see this much in this video. So you will gain confidence in starting the journey using A to A. Okay. But we will have several videos covering all aspects of it. So this is the A to A protocol git repo of Google. So Google has created multiple sample agents. One is using Google Development Kit, another one using LandGraph and Crew AI, etc. So we will see two just to keep it simple. And then Google also has given us a client, sample client, using which you can connect to these remote agents and execute tasks. So I will demonstrate that. Okay. In samples folder, there is a JS folder and Python folder. Both these folders have agents and clients. So we will run the agent from the Python folder and use the client from JS folder just to show that they can coexist and interact. Okay, so 
show you the code first. When you clone my repo, you will get this Techie Talks AI folder. You come to Google and A2A V2 folder. That is where I am in. And there you come to samples and Python. Okay, so there you will find my Docker Compose and Docker files and everything that you need to run this. Okay, so so once you are there, all we need to do is to Docker Compose up. But before we do that, let's look at the files in this folder. Okay, we have our uh, Docker Compose. Please ignore the commented section because this has been very new and I have been trying out various things to ensure that it works before I begin recording. So here, I have created an agent. Now, that is the name of the service and that will also be the host name for the uh, clients to connect to. I have tried uh, port 10,000 and 10,002. They both work, but it was not clear where to specify the port. This is how you, you can specify the port. And uh, the uh, Google API key is passed like this through the env file depending on which agent to run let's begin with google sdk agent all you need to do is to change the working directory and this is a refund agent this agent's role is to look for the accounting agent that gives refund okay that is it and this is using docker's bridge network we will use the javascript based cli okay that is it. When we say Docker Compose up, the A2A agent will start running. Docker Compose up. So, and this is using Google Agent Development Kit. Because we are running for the first time, it is creating the Docker images. Okay, it says Google API key is not found. Let me add it. Okay, I have edited the .env file and added the Google API key. So agent is running and it is listening on port 10,000. So now we will run the client. For client we will use npx. So we will come to the JS folder. In the src folder we have the client.ts which is the TypeScript. So this is how we run it localhost 10,000 so that client can connect to the agent okay so it has to install okay so client is ready see here dot well known agent dot json that is the card so let's browse and see if it can be seen localhost colon 10,000 yeah see this let's format it using JQ so that we can read it I'm doing this for the first time because this came out only last I think 24 hours so this is the agent card okay so this is a reimbursement agent this agent handles the reimbursement process of the employees given the amount and purpose of the reimbursement that is the name and description here we have the skills okay process reimbursement okay so that is the agent card if you know the url of the agent we can immediately see the agent card so the client accesses this card to decide the capabilities of the agent so this card is also a part of the a2a protocol Okay, so that is it. Then coming back to the client, this is an interactive client. So I am Sri. Please reimburse dollar hundred I spent for client entertainment. Okay, so did it reimburse date of expense? So it, it is asking for additional information. Please pro see, it's saying, please provide the transaction date. Let me say 
can you reimburse dollar hundred I spent on April first, twenty twenty five for a client A B C D input required client A B C D instruction please fill out the reimbursement form anyway this is a demo uh, agent that Google provided but we will create more functional demonstration but this is the idea so now let's look at the code no before we look at the code let's stop this client and the agent and run another agent. How do we run another agent? We will come in the Google SDK folder and uncomment the Langgraph folder so that this UV is the Python package manager that can run Python script so that it runs the application from this Langgraph folder. Okay, so after that, so remember this is a practical highly simplified code than what Google has given us so all of us can run it easily okay I'm starting the agent agent is running let's let's look at the agent card see this is the agent card currency agent helps with the exchange rates for currencies this is the skill okay so this simple exchange a currency agent demonstration. Let's start the client. Now here it's asking helps with exchange rates. Okay. Can you convert 100 USD to INR, INR? Okay. So it's saying it cannot perform calculations. So this is a simple demo. What is the conversion rate from USD to INR okay so conversion rate so here okay so that is the demonstration now let's spend some time with the demo code Google the land graph code so this underscore underscore main dot pi is the main application of the a to A based agent. Okay, so here, here we can specify the host name and the port address, and Google API key is the, coming from the .env file, and here is the agent card and the skill. Okay, remember the skill and the agent card that we saw is coming from that section. This is the skill and the agent card and notification we will see how it works in coming videos because this is a very new thing that came out okay that is it so that is the main application then here the task manager so there is another python file task manager that validates the request uh, runs the tasks so all the execution and communication part is uh, handled by the task manager then we have the agent.py Okay, so here we have the doc string that explains what this function get exchange rate does. It is calling this uh, URL to get the current rate. Response format, which is using Pyrandic base model. Okay, so that is the HUA based uh, server. In the underscore underscore main dot py you see that it is using the A2A server. So where is it instantiating the A2A server? Let's see. Okay, so here this is where A2A server is created. Agent card is added. So this is the agent card class where all the attributes are added and agent card is added to the A2A server. Then the task manager is connected and with the function currency agent. That is it. So this creates the A2A server. Then we have the uh, agent card endpoint uh, routing here, add route. 
So that is it. It's a, a tiny code and actually when you create your own A2A based agent, you just need to copy this and just change the function of the currency conversion. The rest of the code we don't need to alter. Then let's look at the client. In the host folder, we have the client. So this is the prompt. What do you want to send to the agent? So this is actually a command line based demo client. Okay, so we will explore more in subsequent videos. Thank you for your time. Please give your valuable comments. Clone this repo and try these snippets yourself. And please remember to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.